Hiya. We've got a story called Fun at Grandma Sadie's here. A story for Rosh Hashanah. And it's by somebody called Sarah Mazar. Illustrations by Benny Radiana, I think. Okay. In the town of Paldor lives a little old lady. The children in the neighbourhood call her Grandma Sadie. She's no grandkids of her own, but one would never know when ch children visit Grandma's house, their faces shine and glow. Grandma Sadie loves the kids. She makes them feel so good. She tells great stories and she makes the most delicious food. Her heart is big and generous and filled with warmth and love. Being a grandma, though she's small, fits her like a glove. To Grandma's house, the kids all came a few hours just before Rosh Hashanah holiday to learn and play and more. You know, said Grandma with a smile, it all begins tonight. She looked inside a yellow file at pictures coloured bright. Every fall we celebrate and thank Hashem for the birth of our amazing universe which we call Planet Earth. We can make it better yet by doing kindly deeds, do as many mitzvahs as the number of Rimon seeds. Look at this, said Grandma Sadie. It's in Hebrew, who can read? I think I can, said Little Saul. He can, the kids agreed. Saul was glad and proud to be the first to volunteer. Shana Tova, he read out loud. A wish for a good year. Grandma motioned, come to me. She kissed Saul on his head. I see you're all prepared to play. Who'll answer next, she said. I'll be next, I'd like to try, piped up clever Shirley. So Grandma showed another kite with a ram's horn, long and curly. This horn is called a shofar. Its sound is a, its sound is a reminder for all the people of the world to be good and to be kinder. It's also a reminder to pray to Hashem above to shower us with blessings and with a lot of love. Yes, my darling, you are right, Grandma said with pride. She then took out two more things from the satchel by her side. A shiny apple and some honey. What do these symbolise? Go ahead and tell us, Donny. Are we to bake some apple pies? Donny laughed and said, that's funny. The other kids were laughing too. May we have a slice of apple with some honey, maybe too? Yes, said Grandma. But dear Donny, first, please tell us why we eat juicy apples dipped in honey, then you will all may have your treat. It symbolises, said the boy, our wish for a sweet new year for all the children, big and small, living far from us or near. We also wish for all the kids to have what we all do, the sweetest grandma in the world, a grandma just like you. Oh, my sweets, I love you so, grandma said and wiped a tear. Come eat apples dipped in honey and have a super sweet new year.